his shoes right now, like Stacy, but they're double knotted. <laughs> My name is Joe Malone. I have been Dave Mesko's friend for 31 years. I met a lot of you last night at the rehearsal dinner, and uh, a lot of you are calling me Toastmaster Flex now, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm going to be brief tonight because I was so uh, long-winded last night, but I'm very honored to be here. It's a beautiful night. It's a very special night. The planet is responding by almost ripping the roof off in that section right there, so if necessary, table F and G might have to join me tonight. But uh, I concur with Rabbi Andy. Uh, these two, Dave and Stacy, are in love. They're very much in love, and it's fantastic. Um, I, I met Stacy. I've known Stacy now for a year and a half, me and my beautiful wife Patty. The first time they ever came over to our house in New Jersey on the way back from Washington, D.C. We were all bonding and, and having a good time in the living room. And uh, Dave and Stacy uh, disappeared for a little while. And I was walking by my kitchen and they were canoodling in our dining room. Yeah, they were kissing in the dining room. We go, sorry, just getting cheese for Isaac. <laughs> that, that was the first sign <laughs> to me. And at last night's rehearsal dinner, I love to talk about topical things, but uh, Stacy was a little bit late, we were all waiting, and uh, Dave and I went to talk to Tom, the owner of Moran's, about the microphone or something. And Stacy literally leapt out of the ladies' room, bumped into Dave, didn't recognize him for a second, said, oh, excuse me. And then, Dave, and then they looked at each other, and we realized who they were, and then they hugged and kissed everybody. I mean, look, the proof is in the pudding. That's, you know, that's, that's more than a thousand words. That is love. And you guys could not, you guys and ladies could not tell tonight from the perspective probably of the audience, but as the ring bearers and uh, the wedding procession was waiting by the elevators, and Rabbi Andy was telling us where to stand, I looked over in the elevator with the stark freight elevator lighting, and they were canoodling. <laughs> okay? So, they're in love, and I am very honored, as I know everybody is here tonight, to be part of that. Um, so I'm just going to read a little uh, it's, it's rock music lyrics. Eric, uh, beautiful with Metallica earlier. Um, um, Dave and I got really into the doors in early in high school. I followed Dave's lead. He read No One Here Gets Out Alive, a, a biography about Jim Morrison, and we got devoted to the doors. I still appreciate their music. And I think it's appropriate, I'm going to read the lyrics uh, Jim Morrison wrote of a Doris song called Queen of the Highway. And it goes like this. If the band was here, I'd have them kick in, but guys, chill out, no problems. <laughs> um, although, if there's a human beatbox, person. <laughs> okay. She was a princess, queen of the highway. Sign on the road said, take us to Madre. One who would save her, save the nice tiger, was a professor, black dressed in leather. She was a princess, queen of the highway. Now they are wedded. She is a great girl. Happy as children, out in a meadow. Happy as children, wild as can be. Soon to have offsprings. Start it all over. Start it all over. American boy, American girl, most beautiful people in the world. Son of a frontier, Indian swirl. Dancing through the midnight whirlpool. Formless, <laughs> wondrous, I now know it will continue forever, but stronger. So, thank you very much. Oh, good. All right. 